Okay. Let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. <laughs> and I thought Daniel was the crafty one. and his dad yesterday. It was pretty weird. <laughs> Poor guy. Why do you pull a face like that? <laughs> At this point... You probably won't miss one eye. <sighs> Steven and Claire are gonna freak if they realize he went to the Ericsons. That's a lot of beer. Daniel! What's going on here? Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh. I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? How about the Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm. Not bad. That's true. You're a great runner. Okay, guys. I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah, they share a lot of things, as thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? You sure? Okay, how did I do? You're good, you guessed all right. You deserve a little reward. It's an interstellar traveler. I gave the other one to Daniel. Wow. Thanks, Chris. That's awesome. After all, you're part of the team now. Okay, let me introduce them to you.
This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Aren't you afraid? Maybe... It's not a good idea to disclose all your powers like this. That Mantroid guy could be watching you, you know? Even better. So he'll know he better stay away from us. Anyway, you shouldn't let anyone know about this. Not even your father. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Chris? It's none of my business, but are you and your dad okay? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um, Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Dad uh, just gets carried away sometimes when he drinks too much. But, but we're cool, no worries. He's just, he has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Chris, I know life can get pretty tough. Trust me. But you'll be okay. You're an awesome kid. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power, and I have Daniel. Oh, too cold. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. 
Dude, what the fuck are you doing? <sighs> I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything. But don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Creepy. But Dad didn't know about this. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? You coming, Sean? Don't worry. Behold, the giant condom machine. Don't worry. I'll be around. Jeez, Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. Deal? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Yeah, these wild... Trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. Come on, you want? Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. Dear Santa. We've been good kids this year. Please explain this hot mess. Sure. I'm fine. Is that a yo-yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. This is so different from Seattle. Don't know if I can get used to it. Guys looking over here. Better not try anything yet. Hi, everybody. We're taking a year off to run away from cops. Daniel has got telekinesis now. Hope you're doing well. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Huh? I miss Dad's Christmas at all. I think Daniel has enough broken toys. Huh. 
Holy shit. If I have enough cash left, I... I could get a gift for Claire and Steven. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. to draw this. <sighs> Time to take the pen, dude. This place is nice. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. What are you drawing? Whoa! It's so cool! Are you like a professional? <laughs> nah. More like the opposite. You could draw comic books! The awesome adventures of... Captain Spirit and Super Wolf. <laughs> Pretty rad for a Hollywood name. <laughs> yeah. I'll think about it. Hey, can you add something funny to your drawing? Funny? Like what? I don't know. Something cool. Uh, okay. Big question. Zombies or UFO? Mm, what about a giant spaceship flying over Beaver Creek? I hope I can draw like you one day. I'm sure you will, man. Too bad we can't come and see. Maybe we'll get some leftover pies and eggnog, at least. Whoa. The guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. Okay. Better find a gift. She looks so out of place here. Cool. It's me, it's me, you've come to take my duality wakes from midnight time I could not see if I were you, were you, or me. We play the game with skillful ends and so I ask for your demands Give me your love Give me your gun And you traced us back To where we've gone And so the morning came And swept the night away And I was looking for a way To disappear 
Wow, you made it all the way through. Weird. You got a crush on me or something? No, what? Uh, um, no, I... I mean, it, it was pretty cool. I, I just... <laughs> Relax, dude. It's cool that you listened. People are usually too busy to care. <laughs> you have a great voice. Uh, you should be on one of those singing shows. That's kind of nice. Not really my thing, though. I hate TV. Show business shit. Well, thanks for the music. And good luck. See ya. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. <sighs> she looks so out of place here. Hey! Cool. I do weddings and bar mitzvahs as well. Anyone interested? Anyone? If I have enough cash left, I... I could get a gift for Claire and Steven. Quiet morning. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Oh, no. He's just... an old family friend. Gotcha. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Hey, um, can I get one of these bears? Sure. Our best seller this year. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. Did I lock the shop yesterday? I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it, too. Right? Did I lock the shop yesterday? Hmm. Feels kind of weird to spend Christmas here with Claire and Steven. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Now we are. Kinda. That sounds complicated. 
trauma? <sighs> yeah. Lots. Huh. Yeah, I hear that. Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, that sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know. But it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> He's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Your doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Mm, Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. Should we do something about it? Better not get involved, man. This guy... 
Doesn't look nice. You're right. They're pretty. This must belong to that girl. Hmm. Maybe I'll get into guitar one day. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I miss my old toys. Seems like Charles is waiting for us. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, <laughs> but we never surrendered. <laughs> Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. Anyway, Got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. Chris talked to me. He said that you sometimes lose it when you're drunk. Oh, fuck. Maybe you should get some help. Don't handle this alone. Shit. Maybe you're right. His grandparents. 
my wife's parents. They offered me their help and they want Chris to go live with them. I haven't replied yet. Maybe I could send them away for a little while. Give me time to get my shit together. Might do him good. Yeah. I know I gotta do better. I, I can't let pain define who I am. Everyone has to go through some shit. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. Yeah, my... My mom left my dad a long time ago. She... Never came back. She broke all ties with her parents, too. <sighs> Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Oh, and, uh... Thanks for your honesty. I'll try my best to be a better dad for Chris. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <laughs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, alright? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Hurry. I'll stay here in case they come. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. Man. He looks so different. So young. <sighs> K. 
Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <laughs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <laughs> Still super cute, though. locked drawer. Maybe the key to Karen's room is inside. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. Clothes. Old stuff. But definitely no hidden key. Okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but at least Steven doesn't preach. I don't really see Steven listening to old school pop rock music. Yeah. Not much to see in here. Sean! I saw Grandma... go into the room yesterday. It looked like... she... <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church. Didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Ah. Uh. Okay, Daniel. This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Uh, okay, Daniel. Uh, think hard. What was she wearing? Jeez. Uh, I think it was that weird uh, sweater thing. Dude, you rock. Daniel, you really think you could open this door? Without doing too much damage? Yes. I know I can. Yes. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. It's like she almost never used those. 
think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. When we left. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. I'm sure everything's still there. Like we left it. Okay. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Karen was still with us then. <sighs> okay, Daniel. Never been a big fan of hiking. You've seen everything you wanted to see. Claire but here I was. Will be home soon now. Walking my way down to Mexico. Five more minutes. Huh. Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the streets. <sighs> I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. I thought they want to forget anything related to Karen. Hmm. <laughs> I can relate. Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... the hero? I guess. So cool. They looked happy. How could you send all of this to hell? These pictures are so... random. Hi. Yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. Is that an amethyst? <sighs> she was into New Age bullshit. <sighs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. So, well, friend of my mommy's? figures Karen was already looking for an exit. I hope she took good care of you. These letters look pretty recent. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me, what are you both doing in here? Except visibly, ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry. 
but we just wanted to. No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of this room. I just wanted to see my mom stop. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't fear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Daniel, now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? My baby, Stephen, are you okay? No, I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, 
It's the sheriff. Steven? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone made a call to your grandson's friends from this house. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. better come back. Hold on a second. Here. This is your cape. You're the real superhero. Thanks, Triss. That's super cool. Like you. Daniel, let's go! Uh, take the troll forest shortcut. It's right through there. Nobody will find you. Chris? <sighs> you rock. Goodbye, Captain Spirit. See you around, Super Wolf. The Spirit Squad will stay united forever. Whoa! I feel like a, a fate superhero. Chris was so sad when he found out that... He had to find out anyway, before he did something dangerous. I know. I just feel sorry for him. Don't be. No matter what happened, I think you guys will always be friends. I hope. Sean... I'm tired of running away. I don't want to be a superhero anymore. You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. I know, but sometimes I can help and how do I know when to use it? You don't. You can only trust your guts and Listen to your brother. You think?
think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again. I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See, Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's all for me? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard.
So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. <laughs> I'll show you around. too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. <sighs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure. Look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. Okay. Let's show Daniels. How about trying out that rock over there? Just one more time. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try. I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? <laughs> Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool. Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? 
try it. Huh? Oh, that sucked. How about one more? Ready? go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. Here we go. Yeah, dude. Watch it. Seriously. Okay. <sighs> Finding that house was a miracle. I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. You're such a good girl. canoeing with dad on Wenatchee River once. The water was freezing cold, but we had so much fun. What? What did you find, Shrew? We really suck at this trap thing. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? They... must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But... they left all their stuff behind? I don't know. Hey, it's been a while since we last saw that rabbit who lives in there. Yeah. I hope it wasn't eaten by a bear, or worse. What's worse than a bear in Nano? I don't know. Wolves? <laughs> don't worry. We're the only wolves around. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> we really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? Oh! Almost forgot to check our traps today. Hey, what's that? Looks like a box or something. Yo, Daniel! Come here! What's up? Can you fly that box down from the tree? Duh. Watch me. Let's check this out. Yeah, what's inside? Let's see. Uh, cardboard caps. Badges. Is that... a power bear? But... he's wearing a different costume. Maybe an old... design? Awesome! Can we keep it? Sure. That's pretty old school cool.
Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. He was disappointed. Of course he was. You lied to him. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. a way to open it. Sean, this is super easy. I can just break the lock with my power. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? Uh, I'm just gonna clean up real quick. <sighs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. We have to get into that room, before they come back. Dude, hurry. I'll stay here in case they come back. <sighs> come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. Sean, hurry up. I might come back any minute. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes, Daniel, I know. Yes. I found one key, so... It better fit. Just try it. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. This playlist is boring as hell. It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice.
Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoyed your trips. So you didn't bail on us for nothing. I don't recognize any of these games. I think it's not plugged. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... <sighs> the fuck is wrong with this? Oh. Hiding spot. <laughs> Smart. Mm. So. Karen was already serious about running away. Why did you wait that long? That's how mom used to smell. 